Hi friends, Prepared Suburbanite here, bringing you some updated gear reviews for some of the preps that we've just upgraded. So stick around and let me show you what we've been doing. What I'm wearing right now is the Frog Togs Pro Light rain suit with pockets. This thing is absolutely cool. It's made of a patented waterproof breathable fabric. It's got raglan sleeves, a full length zipper, comes all the way up to the neck with a snap up on top. It's got a drawstring around the hood, gathers uh, with an elastic here at the uh, um, wrists, pockets on the sides that are fairly deep that uh, really do seem to do a great job of holding stuff and they zip up so that you can keep whatever's in your pocket nice and dry. We stumbled on these at Walmart. They were $28.99. I bought the uh, um, extra large size for me. It weighs 18 ounces. It comes in a stuff sack right here. I uh, just have one comment about the stuff sack. I wish they had designed it more like a dry bag, but um, it snaps at the top. It's got a hook, uh, uh, it's got a ringlet in there for maybe a hook or a carabiner or something to hook onto a pack or wherever you want to hang it. Um, so a nice little uh, drawstring bag that it comes with. Um, let's see, what else? There's no PVC in it. It's called dry pour fabric. The pants that come with it, the pants that come with it have a drawstring around. Easy to slip on. I'm a pretty good size fella. I'm about uh, uh, five foot ten and a half and uh, pushing well over 230 pounds. So these, but these things slip right on over over my clothes and um, without any any problems at all. So I got the XL size and I wanted to try it on for size to make sure it was going to fit. My wife's a little bit smaller than I am. Um, she's only about 5'6 or 5'7 and uh, um, would take a little bit smaller size. And they only come in two sizes or at least that's all Walmart was, was uh, um, in stock at the time and got her a large size and it fits like a glove for her. So we're set. These are a great investment uh, for rain gear. These are going to go in my vehicle so that they're with us um, whenever we need them. Uh, my vehicle's always really close by to me and uh, that's where it's going. These are a great add-on to your bug out bags, your get home bags, or just in your vehicle in case you get stuck in the rain. So next up is the Expedition Research 20 liter and 15 liter dry bags. These things are incredible. I stumbled on a review that, that one of the YouTubers did on this bag. It's extraordinarily heavy duty. They're a great price. They work just like any other dry bag, but I suspect that these are even more waterproof than your regular dry bags that you can find in your your day-to-day -day big box camping stores. The USTs are pretty good. These are excellent. This is the 20 liter size. This is the 15 liter size. I've got a down jacket in there. But let me go over a couple of the things, a couple of the things that make this very, very unique. Now it works just like any other dry bag where you roll it over at the top. Pull the top around. Snap it together. So you got your little carry handle there, all that. It comes with 
an adjustable carry strap that goes from the top down to the bottom so that you can sling it over your shoulder and go. And just as a unique little design item, what they did was added a small button compass to the to the uh, clasp here and a ferro rod. There it is, a ferro rod and a striker. Now it's not the best in the world, but it may just come in handy if you don't have an extra ferro rod or yours breaks or you lose it or drop it in the fire and it dissipates and goes away. You've got that extra. These bags are incredible. They're incredibly priced. The 15 liter bag was $15.99 on Amazon and the 20 liter bag is $16.99. So you really can't go wrong if you're looking for a ruggedized, super duper heavyweight dry bag from Expedition Research. These are terrific. Next up and just on a whim, because I saw these on uh, um, Such Double Hot's um, YouTube channel. These are foam rest um, bench rests from Foam Rust. Ordered this from Amazon. They're $9.99 and it's it's just the cool, very lightweight, very rugged, very dense foam so that it's not going to come apart. I think it's going to be just great for my new shooting bench up at the Bug Out location. So I picked up one of these based on Sucha's recommendation that uh, this thing really works good. So I'm going to try it out, let you all know. Next up, and for basically my wife's um, suggestion, was to pick up a two-pack of these kitty fire extinguishers. They were a little pricey, $64.99 on Amazon for a two-pack. So I got one up in the kitchen, this one's going in our Jeep, so that we've always got a fire extinguisher close by. Not a bad deal. I've had fire extinguishers in the past and thank God I've never had to use them, but they're always nice to know that you got them. So I got one in the vehicle, one in the kitchen, and we should be fairly good to go. Okay, so next up, and from Camping Survival, I picked up a couple of things. With my wife being a nurse, she understands the importance of having certain medical things around just in case they are needed in an emergency situation or in an extended period of time after whatever hits the fan. So what Camping Survival is doing is selling fish antibiotics and they sell them in a kit form where you can get four different kinds of fish medications that uh, if you want to keep your fish healthy during uh, the apocalypse they're the place to go because they've got it it's in stock and it's ready to go I've heard rumors and I haven't been able to have the time to really research it but it seems like after January 1st you may need a veterinarian's order to buy fish medication. They may not be all that difficult to get if you know a good veterinarian that's willing to say yeah you can get these uh, fish um, cylins and fish zole and all that kind of stuff um, but I thought it would be prudent to get them now so that we don't have to worry about whatever kind of new weird ball regulations are going to take effect next year so I went ahead got in contact with uh, Camping Survival and ordered fish psyllin, fish mox, fish zole, and fish sin. 
Now, I'm sure that my wife would do a much better job of explaining how all this, uh, um, these medications um, keep your fish healthy whenever you may need to keep your fish healthy. But these are also, I think, okay for people. So, just in case, you may need to have a little bit of extra prescription grade medications for your medical kits and I think it's a good idea it was well worth the investment this whole kit with four different kinds came in at about a hundred and two dollars and the shipping um, obviously on top of that now you may be able to find good deals like this at your local pet store the big box pet stores that are around um, but I'm not exactly sure I haven't ever been to one other than to just buy my dog a collar when we first got her so I think these fish antibiotics are gonna be very helpful in the event something happens also picked up from camping survival the Cato Voyager Solar and Crank Weather Alert Multiband Radio with cell phone, iPhone, and MP3 iPod charger. This thing is actually pretty cool. Retail, $49.95 from Camping Survival. I'll put a link uh, down below. But let me show you the, uh, the radio itself. Very small, very compact. It's got a little rubberized case with an antenna, a carry handle. It's got a solar charging panel on the back. It's got the crank on the side so that you can crank this thing up if uh, you run out of power. It's also got, uh, as far as the bands go, AM, FM, shortwave one, shortwave two, and the weather bands, and there are seven individual weather bands, depending on your area, which which one they, uh, or ones, they broadcast on. So that comes in pretty handy. It's got a flashlight, a flashing red beacon, even though the button says SOS, that's not SOS, that's just blinking on and off, but there's that. It's also got what they refer to as a reading light. There we go. And that goes on and off. Should give you a little bit of light, maybe to read by at, at nighttime or whatever. Uh, if you put this by your bed stand, it's chargeable with um, an extra AC charger that you can plug into that. You got to order it special and separate from the radio. The radio is $49.95. I think the charger was $14.95. Um, I did not get the charger because Camping Survival happened to be out of them, but um, it's available. I've got an order form right direct from the company if you want to get the charger. I believe it's a six volt charger. And you may have one around that uh, has got the right kind of a uh, pin setting to go into the uh, into the pin that's in the back here. Yep, you can see it there. So it's got a USB port. It's got input and it's got output. So it will charge up your cell phone, iPad, uh, whatever. So I think that's kind of a cool idea. You can use the crank to, to repower it. You can use the solar to repower it. You can put in, there we go. You can put in um, AA batteries and it comes with this little uh, battery pack in here that you just gotta plug in when you get it. Came fully charged. Seems to work pretty well. It's got uh, uh, good sound. That's not as good as pie. What? That's pretty good, That's though. That's pretty amazing. What is that as good as pie? That's pie. So that's just a, a local well, FM station. Um, just to let you know that it does work. I played around with it. It does. The solar charger does work. The battery charger and the crank 
um, does work. I haven't tried to charge up my cell phone with it, but um, if I ever need to, at least it it's, comes in handy. Uh, it came with a set of uh, earphone earbuds and um, a charging cord that's got the USB port on one end and the, and the small one on the other end that uh, fits into the uh, radio itself. Pretty good deal for 50 bucks. I've been looking for one of these for a long, long time that's got the bands that I was really looking for, AM, FM, shortwave, and weather bands all in one radio. So this is really a good deal. Camping Survival, $49.95. And last but not least, um, I decided finally after seeing all the ads on um, Iraqi Vet 8888's um, YouTube channel and I think he's one of the best gun sight channels um, ever. They have more fun than a barrel of monkeys doing their product reviews, doing their meltdowns, you name it. They're just fun to watch. Um, got a lot of great information to partake and they offer as a fundraiser for keeping their channel going what they call the man cam so in october well actually in september i ordered the october man cam and it was delivered um, uh, right around the 18th or 19th or so of October. And it was the survivalist theme for October. And it came with some pretty interesting stuff. Um, they do, I think, three different levels. Uh, a basic level, um, an intermediate level, and then a really high level. And with the high level, um, I think it's a hundred bucks plus shipping and you generally get a fairly good quality um, fixed blade or folder knife that kind of a thing the intermediates are 60 bucks plus shipping and you get um, a lot of cool stuff in there the basic is um, I think 30 bucks um, in that neighborhood, I'd have to check, but uh, you can go to Iraqi Vet 8888's YouTube channel and check out um, his man cam offerings. But let me just show you what I picked up in uh, the survival theme for October. It came with a tin, and the tin has his logo on it. Iraqi Vet 8888 and inside the tin we've got a little tea light candle got a whistle with a compass embedded um, button type compass a little bit bigger than that that also serves as a waterproof match holder which I thought was a pretty nifty little idea. And the whistle works pretty darn good. My dog even likes it. <laughs> Hi, baby. It comes with a great little Swiss Army type knife. Got all kinds of little doodads in it, so very typical kind of a thing for a uh, um, Swiss Army style knife. Comes with a ferro rod and striker in a nice little package, but you probably don't need the package. But it seems to be a fairly good uh, ferro rod. There we go. Um, a small fishing kit with some line, some hooks, and a piece of uh, plastic bait in there in case you need that. Comes with a couple of earplugs in case you need those. There's the matches to go in the uh, uh, whistle compass match case. A Schick razor blade. And an emergency blanket. Basically just a simple mylar. It's uh, 130 by 210 centimeters. And I have no idea how big that is in inches, but I'll let you figure that one out. Oh, comes with a little uh, golf pencil. 
and it comes in a nice little tin case a little bit bigger than your average uh, Altoids tin um, so I thought that was pretty cool they threw in an extra box of uh, matches with a striker on top and a little waterproof container comes with a little bit bigger fishing kit there we go a little bit bigger fishing kit um, that's got 36 meter of line a winder swivels hooks weights and a couple of lures in this little pack doesn't take up very much room at all it's going to fit in pretty much anybody's bug out bag if you need a little fishing kit now you got it an extra ferro rod I don't see uh, any company name on this nope but the uh, the striker and the the striker has a whistle built into it and the ferro rod has got a small button compass built into the handle I haven't tried this one yet but it's always nice to have an extra ferro rod his special um, Iraqi vet 8888 soap I haven't tried it my wife says it smells really really cool kind of a light coconut kind of a kind of a scent to it um, supposed to last for a long long time I'm gonna try it out and see if it works he always throws in some kind of a morale patch And those are generally what five six bucks if uh, you were to just pick one up it's got his logo on it um, in there uh, some stylized uh, canteen and a um, sort of a topo map with a compass and stuff like that on it it's just somewhat unique but at least it's got the Iraqi vet 8888 logo on it A Zippo lighter with Iraqi Vet 8888 embossed on the case. I got it, filled it up, and it works just fine. But the cool thing was this little shovel. You've seen them. I've already used it a couple of times. We used it to help uh, um, put in the foundation up at our bug out location, just to help spread some of the pea gravel around in the foundation areas and stuff like that. But um, there it is there. It's got a little pick thing on the end. It's got a shovel here. It's got an adjustable um, setting so that you can use the shovel like a shovel and to rotate it for the pick like the pick. That kind of a thing so there it is there nice little handle pretty good uh, pretty good heft to it comes in a great little case and that's it from Iraqi vet 8888 that was the intermediate level man cam um, it was 60 bucks I think I barely got 60 bucks worth of value out of that but I also feel like I'm supporting Iraqi Vets channel, which is one of the best gun sight channels out there. So that's it for the for the reviews on the gear that I've picked up over the last month or month and a half or so. It's just been kind of piling up. Wanted to get this video done and reminding you to be prepared always. This is the Prepared Suburbanite and I'm out for now.